What's up book lovers? My name is Madame and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to do my BookCon book haul. So this was my third year at BookCon and I have to say that this year was by far the best and most fun and most successful book con. I went with two of my best friends this year, which made it even better. I personally didn't vlog, but one of my best friends, Dana, who you guys have seen previously on my channel, did. So I will leave all of her book con videos and her channel linked down below, so you guys should definitely check that out. I ended up with 36 free books and I bought two books at BookCon. So there's a lot of books that I have to show you and I have a lot to talk about. So I'm just gonna get right on into it and hopefully, hopefully this video will not be too, too, too long. The first thing that I picked up on the first day of BookCon, which was Saturday, was an arc of The Waking Land by Callie Bates. This book comes out on June 26th, so you don't have to wait too long to get this book if this synopsis interests you. This is a YA fantasy about Lady Alana who was raised by the king as if she were his daughter. When the king is murdered, she's accused of his murder and she has to go back to her homeland and face her estranged father. She also comes across these powers with a connection to the natural world and she has to decide if she wants to lead a rebellion against the kingdom to which she gave her allegiance. So I'm really, really excited to get to this book and it sounds really cool and I really, really am in love with this cover. The next book that I ended up picking up was Odd and True by Cat Winters. This is also an art copy and this book comes out on September 12th. I really love this cover and like the kind of creepy vibe that it gives me and this book is about two sisters, Odd and True. In 1909, Odd comes back after a two year absence and there really seems to be something wrong with her but she keeps telling her little sister True that she promises to protect her from the monsters coming to attack her. And these two sisters are also searching for their mother so on the way they they discover that they might actually have magical powers and something cool that I just realized was that their names are actually Odette and True Chen but the title of the book is actually like their names but spelled differently and I think that's so so cool and I just realized that. The next book that I picked up was The Perfect Recipe for Love and Friendship by Shirley Jump and this is also an art. This book comes out in July I believe. To be honest with you I probably picked this book up because I was fasting that day and the cake on the cover looked really really good and I was like oh my god I'm so hungry right now. But at the same time, the synopsis for this book sounds right up my alley. This is a women's fiction book and I have read a few of those and I really, really enjoy what I read. This follows our main character, Bridget, who has pretended for many years to be happy in this marriage with her husband, Jim, but an accident claims her husband's life and she ends up going back to her home, to her family and their bakery business. And she starts to reconnect with her sisters and reestablish a relationship with her family as she also tries to find herself. So I'm really, really looking forward to reading this book as well. Next up, I have Before the Fall by Noah Hall. Holly, and this is a mystery thriller type of book and I honestly can't remember the last time I read a mystery I don't know if I've ever really read a purely like mystery book and I actually ended up picking up quite a few books from that genre this book con so I'm really really excited to get to those books and see if I'm interested in this genre this book is actually already out and it's specifically about this private jet with 11 people headed to Martha's Vineyard and it plunges into the ocean and there's only two survivors, a painter named Scott Burroughs and this four-year-old boy who is the last member of this very wealthy family. So a conspiracy arises about what actually happened with this plane crash and authorities are trying to piece together this mystery. So this book con, I was extremely, extremely prepared with exactly what books I wanted and what time they were being given out. There were a few surprises, but for the most part, I knew what books I wanted. And I knew I really, really wanted one of these next two books, but they had this thing on the app where it was like these two authors are signing but I didn't know that they were signing together and I didn't really care about the other book because I hadn't read the first book and it was an arc of the sequel that was being given out and I really just wanted the other author's debut novel however if you were online for either of those authors you got both books so the first of these two books that I have here is Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco and this is the sequel to Stalking Jack the Ripper which did get a lot of hype on booktube in the past year I have not read talking Jack the Ripper so this was the book that I wasn't really too crazy about I wanted the other author's book but I am for sure interested in reading Stalking Jack the Ripper and I can't wait to get my hands on it all I know about that book really is that all I know about that really is that it's about the 17 year old girl who against her father's wishes tries to investigate these killed corpses of a serial murderer who I'm guessing is Jack the Ripper this book comes out on September 19th and I was really really happy to meet Carrie Maniscalco because she's really really nice and I actually got this book personalized and signed so I'm really happy about that now the next book that I was online to actually get I'm really 
actually really, really glad I got. I'm actually super excited about it, and I don't know why it makes me really happy that I have this book, but for some reason, I'm just super excited about this book. I'm actually already reading it, so that tells you how much I actually, like, really was excited to get this book, and that is Gunslinger Girl by Lindsay Eli, and this book comes out on January 2nd, 2018. I love this cover. This is a YA Western about Serendipity Jones, who her aim is so perfect like it's amazing she lives in a time where the second civil war has happened in the united states and she's offered a life of fame and fortune in this land called cessation where lawlessness basically is a way of life but her freedom comes with a price i'm only two chapters into this book but i'm loving what i'm reading so far i really like the main character so far i like her best friend so far i like the way that the story is set up and Lindsay's writing is totally awesome so i definitely cannot wait to finish reading and reviewing this book for you guys. Then I picked up an arc of Expelled by James Patterson and Emily Raymond. This book comes out on October 23rd and it's also another mystery book. This book is about Will Foster's anonymous Twitter account which is no longer anonymous after somebody releases this photo and him and three other students end up getting expelled. Will plans to get really close to each of the suspects to really figure out and get down to the bottom of who did this and who got him expelled. So I'm really excited to read this book. This sounds so interesting and I'm also really loving this cover. Then I picked up another arc of another mystery thriller and that is The Walls by Holly Overton. This book is going to be released on August 8th. It's about this girl named Christy Tucker who is working on death row to support her ailing father and her son and then she meets this guy named Lance Dobson and after they get married and their wedding she starts to live a life of abuse and then her inmates really plant this idea in her head which I'm going to guess would be to murder Lance but I'm not sure um, that she really can't get out of her head. So I'm really excited to read this book. It sounds like it's gonna be a really great psychological thriller. Um, Holly Overton also wrote the book Baby Doll, uh, if you're familiar with that, which they were handing out a free audiobook of that. So I'm really excited to read that through audiobook because this is gonna be my first time reading an audiobook and I don't really know what to expect. So I'm really, really excited to be trying that out. Then I picked up an arc of Invictus by Ryan Rodden, which comes out on September 26th. I am so excited to read this book. The synopsis sounds amazing. I've never read anything by Ryan Grodden, but every synopsis I hear about what she writes just sounds so interesting. This book is about Far, whose birth basically defies the laws of nature because one of his parents is from the year 2354, and the other parent is a gladiator from Rome, the year 95. Far himself is really interested in history and he ends up failing his time travel test. I think I also forgot to mention that one of his parents is a time traveler. After he fails this test, he ends up going on this black market operation, this heist to steal valuables from the past. And he meets this girl on the sinking Titanic who leads Far and his team to really learn more about like history and how history isn't always what it seems. I'm so excited. I don't think I've ever really read a book that was strictly about time traveling. So I think this is going to be a really great experience for me and I cannot wait to get to this book. Then I picked up an arc of The Child Finder by Renee Denfeld, I believe. This book comes out on September 5th and this is also a mystery about Madison Culver who disappeared three years ago when she was five. Three years later, her parents are desperate to find her so they hire this private investigator named Naomi who is also known by the police as the child finder as their last hope. I'm really excited to get to this book and I am absolutely loving the actual cover of this book which is right here inside and it's gorgeous. Like a lot of these books have such beautiful covers and that makes me so happy. Next up I have an arc of Running Full Tilt by Michael Currender. This book comes out on September 5th as well. This is Michael Currender's debut novel about a teen runner's relationship with his autistic older brother and the author himself was a teen runner with a disabled sibling so I'm really really excited to read this book and I'm really hoping that the representation is going to be accurate. Next up I have Select by Marit Weisenberg and I was actually able to meet the author and get the book signed. So this book comes out on October 3rd and this is the author's debut novel. The synopsis for this was a little confusing but what I gathered from it was it's about this 17 year old girl named Julia who comes from this highly evolved race of humans and She's made to feel less than special from like that exclusive group of people that she hangs out with and one day she almost jeopardizes her family's secret by displaying her powers in public and so as punishment her father sends her to public school. There she discovers that she can read John Ford who's a popular senior's mind and that her father has been hiding a lot of secrets that she's now uncovering. So this sounds like it's going to be a really cool fantasy book that I'm really excited about and I absolutely once again 
love, love, love this cover. Then on both Saturday and Sunday, Scholastic had this exclusive I Read YA event that you had to enter to win. So I managed to win somehow miraculously for both Saturday and Sunday, but I didn't um, go both Saturday and Sunday because most of the same authors were going to be there. There was only one author difference. So I went on Saturday and then I gave my Sunday ticket to my best friend, Amira. Basically what this event was, was you went in and there were three authors there. So it was Maggie Stiefvater, Danielle, Jose Alder, and either Shan Cameron or Goldie Moldovsky. And you got an arc of their book and they signed it for you. And then there was goodie bag making and you got to pick up a free toe. It was really, really, really cool. So the first book that I picked up from there was an arc of Maggie Stiefvater's upcoming release, All the Crooked Saints. This book comes out on October 10th and I'm not exactly sure what this book is about because the synopsis is super vague, but from what I've gathered, it takes place in Colorado and it follows the Surya family and these three cousins who are all kind of looking for a miracle and a way to change their future. I've heard amazing things about Maggie Stiefvater's books. I haven't read anything personally by her, but I did want to pick up this arc to start here and I'm really really hoping that I enjoy it because I've heard great things about her works and I was also really lucky to have this signed by Maggie Stiefvater as well. Then I picked up an arc of Shadow House Fall by Danielle Jose Alder. This book comes out on September 12th and I also got this signed as well. This is his sequel to the novel Shadow Shaper and I have not personally read that but after reading the synopsis for that book I'm so excited. It sounds so cool and I cannot wait to get my hands on it and read it. It's basically described as Cassandra Claire meets Caribbean legend and honestly that just sounds so interesting and cool to me like I cannot wait to find to like read the series and I'm so glad that BookCon put this on my radar. Now Shadow Shaper the first book is about um Sierra Santiago who discovers this supernatural order called the Shadow Shapers. They connect with spirits through paintings, music, and stories and there's this doctor named Jonathan Wick who wants to become the ultimate Shadow Shaper by killing all the others so I'm super excited to read this. I cannot wait to get my hands on the first book and continue on with this arc. So then the last author that was there at the Scholastic event that day that I went was Sharon Cameron and I picked up an arc of her book, The Knowing, and she actually signed this book for me as well. I have not read The Forgetting, but I've heard great things about it and the synopsis of it really intriguing. I know my best friend Amita read it and she loved it and I'm in love with this cover. It is so pretty and Sharon herself is such a sweet person. This book is going to be released on October 10th and the first book is about the city of Canaan, I believe it's called, where every 12 years there's this day where everybody forgets all of their memories unless they've been written down, but the main character, Nadia, does not forget. And throughout that book, she uses her memories to solve the mysteries of Canaan. So that sounds really intriguing to me, and I cannot wait to get my hands on that book and read it as well. So... For both days, the only difference was either Sharon Cameron or Goldie Moldovsky, and I really, really wanted to meet Goldie Moldovsky and get her book as well because I know she wrote Kill the Boy Band, and that book sounds really interesting to me. As I was walking out, I grabbed a tote bag. Like I mentioned previously, they were giving out tote bags, and inside the tote bag, they actually gave us a copy of Goldie's new book, No Good Deed. This is an art copy, but this book is actually out already, so if you want to go pick it up, you can. So this book is about Gregor, who is a teen activist, and he ends up going to this summer camp called Camp Save the World, at this camp, it's announced that there's going to be a prize at the end of the summer, and it's going to be awarded to the activist who has, like, the best campaign. With this prize now, summer becomes a warfare, with people not really focusing on their campaigns, but sabotaging each other's. And this sounds like a really cool promise. I haven't really heard anything else like this in any other YA contemporary that I've read, so I'm really excited to read this. Now, this next book, I actually was not expecting to be at BookCon at all, but if you went to the Hatchet Publishers booth, and you told them the secret password, guard your mortal heart, you were able to pick up a copy of The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. This book comes out on January 2nd. This is not the final cover. The final cover though is so beautiful and I'm gonna leave that right over here. I have not read anything by Holly Black but I've heard fantastic things. I have her book The Coldest Girl in Cold Town and I'm really excited to read that because I love books about vampires. This is the first book in her new fantasy trilogy I believe and it's about Jude who at 17 years old her and her two sisters are stolen away to live in the high court of Fae and their parents are murdered. Ten years later Jude wants nothing more than to belong in that court but the Fae hate humans. They hate mortals. 
especially Prince Cardin, who is the youngest and the wickedest son of the High King, and June must defy him if she really wants to be a part of this court. This sounds like it's going to be so good, and it sounds right up my alley. I'm so ready for another book about Faye, and I'm really, really excited to read a Holly Black book and see what I think of her writing. Then I picked up an art copy of Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Nig. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. This book comes out on September 12th. And it's about this suburban city in Cleveland where everything is orderly and planned. And one of the residents, Elena Richardson, rents out a house to Mia and her daughter Pearl. And they're very enigmatic and Elena's children are drawn to Mia and her daughter. But Mia really has a very mysterious past and when a family friend of Elena's want to adopt a Chinese American baby. The town is kind of split in half in this custody battle. Elena and Mia are on opposite sides and Elena tries everything in her power to uncover the secrets of Mia's past. This sounds like it's going to be an amazing book and I've heard amazing things about this author. So I'm really really excited to eventually get to this book. I know that I keep saying that I'm really excited but like I truly am just really excited because I really wanted a lot of these books and I'm so glad that I was able to get them because the lines at BookCon are just insane and just jumping from line to line was very very tiring but at the end it was so so worth it. Then I picked up an arc of A Short History of the Girl Next Door by Jared Wright and this book comes out on September 26th. This book is about 15 year old Matt who's in love with his best friend Tabby and he has some serious basketball skills and he also really enjoys poetry and essays but then Tabby his best friend starts dating this popular guy named Liam Branson and he feels like he's going to lose everything. This sounds like it's going to be a really really cute YA contemporary and I'm all about those so I'm really excited to read this. The next arc that I picked up was The Epic Crush of Jeannie Lowe by FCE and this book comes out on August 8th. This is a fantasy paranormal urban fantasy type book and I'm so excited because it sounds amazing. I also believe this is the author's debut novel and it's about this 16 year old girl named Jeannie Lowe who is very focused on getting into college. She's super smart but then her town comes under siege from demons straight out of Chinese folklore and that sounds so interesting to me and I cannot wait to see how she's gonna battle these demons. I believe also that this is a standalone so I feel like this is just gonna be a really fun ride and I'm so excited to get to this book. And I also really love like this line up here. It says a demon invasion is no excuse for bad grades that just like speaks to me as a student I just I love it so much and it just makes me laugh and I feel like I'm gonna be able to relate to Ginny Lo on that level like hardcore and I cannot wait next I have an arc of the thing with feathers by Mikhail Hoyle this is a YA contemporary that comes out on September 5th we have a lot of September releases in this video this is about a girl named Emily who has epilepsy and she's been homeschooled but now her mom transferred her to public school and she gets paired up with a starting point guard Chatham for a project on Emily Dixon and when he shows interest she should be happy but she's not because nobody really knows that she has epilepsy and she's always scared that her meds are going to fail and she's going to have a seizure in school. I'm super excited to read this book. I've never read anything like this and I'm really excited to see what um, Mikhail Hoyle's writing is going to be like. I actually was able to meet Mikhail Hoyle and get the book signed and it says, Miriam, hope you enjoy. Um, and she's really, really sweet. Like talking to her was just really great. And I'm really glad that I had the pleasure of meeting her. Then the Penguin Booth was doing a giveaway for A Map for Wrecked Girls by Jessica Taylor. This is also an art copy and this book comes out on August 15th. This this book is about Henry and Emma who are sisters and really they're best friends but something breaks them apart and they end up washed up on a shore and their only companion is this troubled boy named Alex. Now Emma and Alex get close together while Emma and Henry grow far apart and the way for them to really find their way home is to find their way back to each other. I feel like this is going to be a really great story about family and I always love reading a book where family is a main theme so I'm really excited to get to this one as well. Next up I have Thief of Lies by Brenda Drake and I actually was able to go to her in booth signing to get this book and this is like a hardcover finished book and this book is also already out so if you're interested you can go ahead and pick it up and she did sign it and personalize it and it says Miriam don't be afraid to jump Brenda Drake and I believe that this book is about traveling through libraries by jumping through photographs I'm not exactly sure because I couldn't really understand the Goodread synopsis but it sounds like a really cool concept so I'm really really excited to read it and I will always and forever love books about libraries because books about books are like my favorite thing. The next book that I picked up I was really happy about and that was Believe Orexic by JJ Johnson. This book is actually already out except the paperback is not out so this was kind of like an arc giveaway of the paperback book. The paperback comes out on September 1st if you're interested in when it does come out. This is a book about Jennifer who has an eating disorder, I believe it's bulimia, and she decides that she has to go to get treatment for it. So 
It basically follows her treatment. And Amita asked the author what her inspiration for this book was, and the author said that it was from her own personal experiences because she, as a teen, had an eating disorder and she was hospitalized for it. So I'm really, really excited to read this book. I love reading books about mental illness because it's such an important topic that I feel like not a lot of people read about or focus on, and I'm really, really, really excited to read more about mental illness. And I'm really glad that I was able to meet the author and get the book signed. And it says, for Miriam, take care and take risks. Then I picked up an art copy of Life Vanessa by Tammy Charles. This book comes out on March 13, 2018. And I am so excited for it because it is about a woman of color in 1983, Newark, and she enters her school's beauty pageant despite a lot of people, including her father, believing that she does not belong there. So I'm really, really excited for more diversity in books, and I'm super, super excited to read this book. And I was able to meet Tammy Charles as well and get my book signed, and it says, Miriam, enjoy XOXO Tammy Charles. And she was just really, really, really a sweet person as well. This next book is kind of funny, but it's Mean Girls by Michael Austin. Out, and this is a retelling based on the screenplay of Mean Girls. I'm so excited to read this because Mean Girls is like iconic. I was really worried that I wasn't going to be able to get a copy of this book at BookCon, but I did and I'm so happy to read it. Like I feel like it's just going to be really funny and just like a really great time so I cannot wait to pick this book up. And this book releases on September 12th. The next thing that I picked up was an arc of The Ready Made Thief by Augustus Rose and this book comes out on August 1st. This is about a young homeless heroine who tries to figure out the twisted world of a secret society with a dark agenda and a talented hacker and a young artist as her ally. The premise of this book sounds really interesting and I haven't really read that much literary fiction so I'm really excited to get to this book as well. The next book I was so scared that I was not going to be able to get because there was literally a mob, a mob to get this book and it was insane. It was crazy and I'm so glad I survived and was able to meet the author because she's one of my favorites. And that book of course is none other than War Cross by Marie Lu and I am so happy that I have a copy of this book. I am so excited to read it. After I finish Gunslinger Girl, this is definitely going to be the next book from BookCon that I pick up. This book comes out on September 12th and it gives me major Ready Player One feels if you've read that book and that book was really great. It follows the main character Emika Chen who hacks into this very popular video game called Warcross and she finds herself like inside the game. But instead of getting arrested, she is approached by the game's creator to uncover a security problem and to act as a spy so I'm so excited to get to this book and I honestly like I know it's gonna be amazing I've been hearing amazing things about it and I have total faith in Marie Lu so I'm really really excited and Penguin was actually doing this really cool thing where if you went to uh, the people working there with like colored hair and you told them the secret password like I think the secret password that I said was I am Emika Chen. They would give you like some Warcross merch. I ended up getting this shirt that says some games you play, others you survive. And on the back it has Warcross. And I was able to get my copy signed and personalized by Marie Lu. And it was just a phenomenal experience. And the last book that I picked up on Saturday was an arc of She, Myself, and I by Emma Young. This book comes out on September 5th. And it's about this girl named Rosa who is a quadriplegic. And this girl named Sylvia who is brain dead. And Sylvia's family decides to join donate Sylvia's body. And Rosa goes through a brain transplant to give Rosa a new life and now Rosa is trying to figure out her new identity and I cannot wait to get to this book as well. So those were all the books that I got on Saturday. On Sunday it was much more chill. I knew exactly what I wanted to get. That was the day I was supposed to meet Cassandra Clare so I had those two hours blocked out because I knew it was going to take me a while to meet Cassandra Clare. There were very very specific books that I wanted that like if I did not get those books I would have been very upset and the first of those books was Zenith by Sasha Osberg and Lindsay Cummings. It was such a struggle trying to get my hands on this book. They did so many art drops, but like I was never there on time and I was so worried that I wasn't going to be able to get this book. I was planning on going to their signing from 1.30 to 2.30 on Sunday and the day before I actually met Sasha and I asked like when would lining start and the people at the booth said it would start at 12 o'clock. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be there at 12 o'clock. When I walked in on Sunday and I went to the Harlequin booth, they were actually doing a giveaway of 25 copies. So I was like 25 fifth in line you could choose from like five books like you rank them and I put Zenith as my number one choice so I was really lucky and I was able to get a copy of Zenith then and I didn't have to wait online which was really really awesome because the line actually did not start at 12 
people started lining up at 10 30 and the tickets ran out by like 11 and it was insane this book comes out on january 16th and if you don't know who sasha and Lindsay are they're both youtubers and i would actually be surprised if you don't know who they are this is the first book and their androma saga and this is a science fiction book about androma also known as Andy, also known as the bloody baroness who is the leader of an all-girls crew of the marauder spaceship someone from andy's past comes to haunt the marauder crew and at the same time a ruthless ruler is waiting to get revenge for the destruction of her people and the marauder crew is kind of like caught up in all of this so it sounds like it's gonna be really awesome this book is actually a lot bigger than i expected and i'm really excited to dive into it and see what i think i'm so 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 glad that i got this book this is actually a signed copy which i was surprised because it was just the giveaway so like sasha and Lindsay weren't actually signing the book so when i opened it later and found out it was signed i was really really happy for this next book if i thought that the warcross mob was insane the mob for this book was so much worse like it was so bad the way that they lined us up and I'm honestly so shocked that I was able to get a copy but I really really desperately wanted it because the author for this book wrote one of my favorite books from last year which was We Were Liars and I was really happy that I was able to pick up an arc of her new book Genuine Fraud. I'm not even going to try to explain what this book is about. I don't understand what this book is about. All I know is that Elok Hart wrote it. Her synopses are super vague and I don't understand what happens in them, but I know that the book is gonna be awesome because it's E. Lockhart, and I am so excited to read it. This book comes out on September 5th, and I did end up getting it personalized and signed. It says Miriam, and then there's two stamps, be a little kinder than you have to, hashtag we were liars, and nothing but trouble and are proud of it, hashtag genuine fraud E. Lockhart. So I'm really excited to read this book. I cannot wait, and I love, love, love this cover as well. The next book that I picked up was A Taxonomy of Love, and this is by Rachel Allen. This book comes out January 9th, 2018, and it's also a YA contemporary. It follows these two characters named Spencer and Hope, who became friends the summer before seventh grade, and as they grow older, that label of friends kind of gets blurred. And something else that I want to note is that Spencer actually has Tourette syndrome, so it's once again really, really awesome to see more diversity in these books, and I'm really excited to read this one as well. Okay, we're almost done. I only have a few more books, and I'm going to try to get through them really, really quickly. The next book that I have is an arc of Things I'm Seeing Without You by Peter... Bagnani. This book comes out on October 3rd. This is a YA contemporary about a girl who drops out of high school after the first boy that she's ever loved commits suicide and she kind of like continues to write to him and she joins her father's funeral business at the same time to kind of try and get through the grief and I'm really really excited for this book. I'm loving this cover and I cannot wait to read it. The next book that I picked up was an arc of House of Ash by Hope Cook and this book comes out in September and this is a YA horror about 17 year old Curtis who hears these voices and he's really scared that he's inherited his father's mental illness so I'm really really excited to read this book. I don't really read that much horror so this is going to be kind of like my first time and I'm really excited to see what I think of it. Then I managed to pick up a copy of Jane Unlimited by Kristen Kishore and this book is super shiny like super shiny. I've tried to understand what this book is about. Um, I don't really understand what this book is about the synopsis is very unclear this book also comes out in september so i'm really really excited to get to this book and um this is gonna be my first time reading anything from Kristen kishore but i've heard fantastic things so i have high hopes then in like the last hour of book con or so the penguin booth was doing all these like questions and then if you were able to answer a question they give you a free book so they asked the question like name one of huntley fitzpatrick's books so i said my life next door and they gave me a copy of agatha warrior this is also an arc and it's on sale in november but this is the sequel to the first book which i have not read but I'm definitely planning on picking it up because it was actually on my Goodreads to be read but like I just didn't know because my Goodreads to be read is like insane and I believe that the first book is called Akita Witch and I'm really excited to read this one as well. So those were all of the free books that I got from BookCon. I did end up getting two other books. The first one is Roseblood by A.G. Howard. Um, the Abraham's booth was doing a 50% off of all the books, so I was like, um, I have to get this because the cover is beautiful. And this is a Phantom of the Opera-inspired retelling. I don't really know anything else besides that, but I'm super excited to read this. And Rudena actually won this book from like Owl Crate because you spin the wheel and like whatever it lands on, that's what you get. So she got Roseblood and we might actually be buddy reading that. So I I cannot wait for that. And the last book that I got and the highlight of BookCon was Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. Waited to buy this book because um, you had to buy it for the Cassandra Clare signing, so I waited to buy it. And I'm really glad that I did. I'm 
really, really glad that I got to meet Cassandra Clare. She is honestly the sweetest. Like, she's so, so sweet, and it was amazing to meet her. She did sign this book right there. I was a little annoyed because the ticket said that we would only be allowed a maximum of two books, but when we got there, we, we were told that we could sign up to three books, and only one of them could be personalized. I only bought one other book with me to, to get signed by her. Um, and I was gonna buy Lord of Shadows to get signed by her, but if I had known I would have bought a third book But the other book that I did get signed by her was my copy of Clockwork Princess This was the one that I got personalized and it says for Miriam Cassie Claire And I'm so glad once again that I got to meet her like it was just the most surreal experience ever I was like about to start tearing while I was online. I was like, oh my god, Cassandra Claire is right there I've been dying to meet her like my first book con I went because I wanted to meet her and I didn't get a ticket in time But I'm so glad that I was able to meet her this time. So those are all the books that I got from BookCon. Let me know if you went to BookCon and what your favorite moment in BookCon was. I will leave all of the Goodreads links for all of these books linked down below so you guys can check them out if any of these is really interesting to you. I hope that I put some upcoming releases on your radar. Let me know which one of these upcoming releases you're most excited for and I will also leave all of Rudena's vlogs and her BookCon haul as well linked down below in her channel so you can check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it's very long and if you did enjoy please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you next time in a new video. Bye!